On last episode of Three Bros Check Out Orange, we went to a few businesses, including real southern food. It was delicious. On this episode, we check out Free State Salad. <laughs> All right, this is the last place we're going to be going today. It's a Free State Cellar. So this is a, a wine winery, wine bar that uh, we're just going to try to leave some flyers. And we've been talking to a lot of people today, pretty uh, tired right now. And uh, but this is the last spot. So let's see if we can leave some flyers. We are over here at a Free State Cellars. I'll try one. Of it. Free State, Free State Cellars, well, and we're, we're trying one of the wines. It's a real Dolce. This is what one of the customers says was one of their favorite things to uh, try. Let's see how Willie likes it. It's our best seller overall. When you taste it, that's pounds. And on your second taste, you're gonna get a full. Well, yeah, that's that's really good. Do you want to drink that here? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm driving. <laughs> Sweetness on the front, dryness on the back. That is actually really good. Like, like I said, I'm not a big wine drinker, but well, this, this is a taster. Really so yeah, even dry wines, I'm not a big fan of, but uh, oh, that one important. tastes really yeah. good. Hi guys, I'm Mandy with Free State Cellars here in Orange, Texas. We are a fairly new venue out here. Um, I have music on Fridays and Saturdays live. No cover charge, you just come on out. We are open Thursday through Sunday. Thursday is uh, four to eight, Fridays four to eight, and Saturdays one to eight, Sundays one to five. Um, what we do out here is we offer tastings by the form of a flight. You can order six different wines with us. Um, everything is made by us. Our estate grapes are muscadine grapes. I have a black and a, and a white grape. If you come out, You'll see the vines. Our venue is actually in the vines. You come out, sit on my patio, order a little something to drink. I also do handcrafted sangrias that are frozen. Those are a big hit around here. Free State kind of is a, it's kind of funny how things got started out here. We are all born and raised in Orange, Texas. It's me and uh, four of my siblings and a nephew that is partnership in it. All of the kids that work here are nieces, nephews, daughters, sons. It's a family affair, pretty much. And, um, this winery was actually owned by a gentleman named Alfred Fleece. He planted the first vines in 1984. He opened the doors in 86. He was more about competition and competing with his wines. So when Mr. Fleece passed away, we didn't realize that the winery was up for sale. And um, after a little while, my sister came to me and said, hey, the winery in Orange is for sale. I'd like to look at it. Because we've always talked about doing something as a family, which everybody says you're crazy to work oh, with your family. but. It's, it's, it's been beautiful for us. And um, so we came out and looked at it. And uh, of course, when we came, you couldn't even see the vines because Mr. Fleece had passed away and so it hadn't been maintained. We bought the vineyard in uh, 2017, January 2017. And we opened the tasting room in May of 2019. So we jumped in, we didn't really have any training. Everything that we learned was from Mr. Fleece's um, son-in-law Jimmy actually taught us how to harvest and just kind of walked us through that first season of harvesting and uh, fermenting and making our first batch of wine. My dad always made wine so we were kind of familiar with that but the reason why we bought the winery basically was to bring our family closer so it started out as a hobby but um, it took off really fast. It took off we hit the ground running we opened the doors we had literally four tables on the patio when we started and these and um, we got the doors open, people started hearing about us, and then it just took off like a rocket. And we have been very blessed. We've been through several hurricanes, floods, ice storms, but uh, we're very resilient. And uh, the grapes come back every year, we come back every year, and uh, COVID, COVID hit us. In uh, March of 2020, we shut our doors till almost August. And, uh, there was a time when I didn't know if we'd get those doors back open, but we're okay. We're okay. We, we you know, we prevailed and uh, the sangrias are what, you know, we did a, a curbside service and was able to sell those curbside and so it, it got us through. Now we are uh, in our third year of business and uh, we've got a lot of new changes coming around here. But Orange, everybody in Orange has been very, very grateful and very welcoming. Everybody tells us, hey. Thanks for opening Orange. Orange needed this. We needed something. And uh, Orange is a good community. 
it holds a dear place in my heart. It's in my blood, you know, and it's just, I love this place. And when you come out here, you get to see the beauty of Southeast Texas for sure. We're right on the bayou. We call it Napa on the bayou. That's kind of one of our little plugs. And uh, the name Free State, a lot of people ask us about the name. And uh, the name Free State actually comes from the history of the area, of the lay of the land. Um, this was called the Free State of Sabine. It was uh, an area, a territory dispute between Spain and France in the 1800s. And so instead of going to war, they declared it a lawless land, um, no man's land, free state of Sabine. So no military, no police, no anything. So of course the history goes, you know, um, of course with no military, no rules, you have bandits, pirates and stuff like that. And so the history of this area is a 40 mile radius. And so where you guys are sitting is, um, the, the name of this was actually called Devil's Playground because of the um, outlaw that ran the, the gambit in this area. His name was John Morrell. He was a land pirate. You had uh, Jean Lafitte, who was a, uh, he was a river pirate, you know, he was on the water. But they both ran gambit through here. And so what they would do is um, they would go and raid and do whatever they did and they'd run back to the no man's land and hide out. And so um, anything that you see here as far as a blended wine, you're going to see a name that attributes back to the history of this area. So you're basically in the 1800s, you're in no man's land. You you're know, saying so. there's treasure somewhere to be found. Um, absolutely. You know, um, John Morrell actually is the villain in um, Tom Sawyer. The, uh, they're looking, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer are looking for the Reverend Devil's treasure. And that's who I'm talking about. So he was really an actual person. He was the most renowned cr criminal in the 1800s in the United States of America. So it's, uh, it's a lot, you know, a lot of history in, in Texas and a lot of history down in our area. You just got to look for it a little bit. But it's a beautiful, you know, there's nowhere else that I know that you can come across the Louisiana border and the most beautiful sight is seeing men just standing on the side of the road fishing hanging out on the side of the road, just catching fish and just living life. It's beautiful. Our area is beautiful. It's a great place to come. If you'd like to come out after y'all, go and gather on Friday night. Free State will be open until 8 o'clock that night if you'd like to come out then. Uh, then on Saturday, we open at 1 o'clock. We invite y'all all to come out, go out and run, support the Shannon's Run, and then come on out to Free State and drink a little wine, listen to a little music, and have a good time out here. After our interview with Mandy, we got to talk to her about how we wanted to meet the mayor and she said, one second, I'm gonna call him right up and he'll be here in 30 minutes. And lo and behold, there he was. So, I'm Willie from Three Bros Running Company. So, I feel pretty honored, a little bit nervous because like I'm actually meeting the mayor of Orange. <laughs> so we've been trying to like uh, meet him for quite a while, but so it's, it's an honor for us to have him finally here to like, kind of talk to him. So, well, could you kind of like introduce yourself to like our audience, your name and you know? Yes, sir. So my name is Larry Spears Jr. and I'm proud to humbly serve as the mayor of Orange, Texas. And I am honored to be here today to meet with you guys, seeing you on Facebook, and we want to welcome you here to the city of Orange and fully support you in whatever you have going on. Well, that's great. So one of the questions I had, I heard like, man, you're a great mayor. What made you decide, hey, I want to be mayor of Orange? Well, I, I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, it's one of those things where some days they love you, the next day they want to crucify uh -huh. you. But um, what, what actually what made me want to be mayor is that when I started out, I was visiting my son at his school a lot, and I just wanted to get involved with something. And I, I, I chose not to run for school board, but I was praying about it, and God showed me to run for city council. So I was on city council for four years. The mayor at that time had stepped down and said he wasn't going to run again. So I ran for mayor, and, and God blessed me with an opportunity to serve people. And so that's what we do here in Orange. A lot of people who come in, they say, what's going on here? There's a lot of things happening and changing. But we honestly said we're going to put God first. And now we've seen a turnaround economically, you know, more jobs, you name it. Things are changing here. No, I like that you said that because we, one of the first places we visit is like, and it's kind of like a gem. I don't think a lot of people know about it. It's the First Presbyterian Church, like mm -hmm. the history behind that and kind of like seeing like the why they built that. And then they started like a foundation, like three panes from like Chicago, uh, yes, I'm not sir. sure. And then they built the whole church around that. Right. So it's kind of what we're doing, trying to build like this foundation from like this uh, kind of like faith-based kind, yes, of, kind of thinking. And, and that's what we're all about here is like, Orange is a small town, but we love people and we come together and we, we are working together better than I think we have in a long time. And you know, I'm very anxious to see what God has in store for us in the future. 
and like having you guys here and bringing you in and seeing how I can support you, I definitely want to get involved. We're going to get as many organizations behind you as we can. So what's like some of your favorite places to visit here in Orange that okay, you recommend? Okay, so as you can see, uh, I like to eat. So definitely all of the food places, um, you name it, from Spanky's to Old Orange Cafe, Lucy's, and then, of course, Guadalajara is one of my favorite places. And then Luigi's, you name it, brother, I'm, I take advantage of it. And, and, and then I don't, I don't tell my wife as yeah. much, but sometimes I stop and grab a bunch of wiener schnitzel on the way home <laughs> and then eat it before I walk in the door. So yeah, I love it, I love it. Is there any kind of like little lasting words that you would mm -hmm. want to say about like the city of Orange or about the yes. people of Orange or someone, something you want like our audience to kind well, of know about? Thank you for saying that because one of the things I do is um, I really love meeting people and I love sharing God's love with people. Uh, I'm excited to have you here. Like I said, whatever we can do to support, I definitely will. But the motto that we have here in Orange, we started four years ago when I became mayor, is we put God first in all that we do. We love people where they are for who they are, and then we let God handle the rest. And there you go, man. Things no, are changing no, each and thank every you. day, thank, man. Thank you so much. All right, It's an honor to like, talk to you and meet you. So. This is the uh, mayor, the actual mayor from Orange. So <laughs> this is amazing, great experience. Let's have like Mike in here too. So, you know. Yeah. All right, man. Thank y'all. All, right. All right. All right. So we finally got to meet the mayor, Larry Nance, or as I call him, my friend Doobie. Is it Doobie? Doobie. Doobie. That's what I call him. That's what he's always called. Him. Him so now, now, uh, that was fun. Mandy was awesome as well to meet her over at Free State Sellers. Definitely check her out over there. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. Got to uh, put a lot of, uh, of our information out there, meet a lot of people as well. And that's what it's all about. This is what we're trying to do, connect with the community here in Orange. So y'all know us and uh, y'all come out and run a race. May 14th, challenge run 5K, 10K. See you guys next one. Three bros.